Hello, baby gag says this is Calvin, and this is my reaction to the Wanderer Any Way the Wind Blows trailer. Um, I have never seen this, but this is one that people have been suggesting for a while, and I thought to clear up any another space for like someone's gonna send this in for Roma Reacts, so I might as well just watch it. And we'll watch it now uh, with all of you guys. Uh, let's check this out. There once was a palace, and in that palace was a puppet. A oh, puppet. So this is the voice of Alice. You know, I could just pretend that I don't remember what happened after that, and then make up some boring story and get this over oh with. Oh my god, it did look at the, it's in the restaurant. <laughs> boring clearly isn't my style. No, or is it the no. Wanderer's way of doing things? Oh my god, you look at this. I get it, we're just going to see him do normal things. Or horrendously complex, and both would be right. It all depends on the storyteller. Are you sure? Oh my god, look at this trailer. <sighs> Fine. Let's get this over with. If you oh my happen God. to run into this wanderer, don't let his menacing expression make you nervous. He's really not all that hard to get along with. Uh, he yeah, he's the best. Keep your distance, that's all. Don't provoke <laughs> him distance. and he won't kick up a storm. <laughs> Simple, isn't it? They're talking about like he's he a cat. Like to talk about it much, but the wanderer has quite a lot of experience in forging weapons. It's a beautiful weapon. It's a beautiful so weapon. when the wanderer ascends bows and catalysts, it doesn't cost him as much mora. Ooh. The Wanderer's normal attack can come with three thing? wind blades, dealing animo damage. His charged attack consumes some stamina and creates a high pressure wind. It's such a good attack! A oh my god! Time, dealing AOE animo damage. The Wanderer's elemental skill harnesses the power of the air. All this is just one of the greatest, like the top three elemental skill of all time. Dealing AOE animo damage and rising into the air. You feel so powerful using this. It's so so powerful. State, the wanderer is unable to use plunging attacks, and his normal and charged attacks are converted to Kugo Fushodan and Kugo Tofukai, which deal increased damage over a wider AOE. So good. Using Kugo Tofukai will not consume stamina. The wanderer hovers in midair while in this state, continuously consuming Kugo Ryoku points to remain airborne. Sprint button is pressed. Instead of yep. sprinting, yep. the wanderer consumes oh, more so points to fly <laughs> through the air more quickly. Holding sprint maintains a faster flying speed while consuming points at a faster rate. Pressing jump raises the wanderer. These trainers are so good. The air at the cost of yeah, like again, you just a feeling of power. You feel so powerful doing this. The wind favored state ends when all Kugoryoku points are used up. Wind favored state allows the wanderer to do battle from midair as well. As yeah, it's so good. Difficult terrain more easily. Yep, yep. In fact, I should use this more. Casting his elemental skill again while airborne brings the wind favored state to an end. Yep, yep. After unlocking the talent Jade Claimed Flower, if the wanderer's elemental skill makes contact with hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro when cast, the wind favored state provides different buffs depending on the element. Hydro increases the Wanderer's Kugoryoku point cap. That's so sick. Own attack. Cryo Honestly, like his crit rate. And Electro causes him to regain some elemental energy. That's so good. So maybe we should pair him with a, with a, well we have Layla actually. That's what we do the crit rate for, yeah. A limited quantity of energy can be regained per set time period, and a maximum of two buffs can be gained at any one time. The force of wind can so good. always be seen. So powerful. But it can certainly be felt. After unlocking the talent, Gales of a Reverie. When Kugo Fushodan or Kugo Tofukai hits an enemy, the Wanderer has a chance to gain the descent effect. The next time the Wanderer uses his alternate sprint to fly at speed, the descent effect is consumed instead of Kugo Ryoku points, and several wind arrows are fired, each dealing animo damage. That's so freaking good. If a Kugo Fushodan or Kugo Tofukai does not trigger the descent effect, the chance of triggering the effect next time. This is what I do with Layla's move, yeah. Know your place. Know your place. Just know it. Casting the Wanderer's elemental burst compresses the surrounding air to form an animal plenum that oh. lasts all sorts it's of such a good move. Away, dealing multiple bouts of AoE animal damage. Casting his elemental burst while in the wind favored state brings this state to an end. The yeah, I've, I've noticed that when I'm farming. <laughs> is not 
his game, and he does not hesitate to take decisive action in pursuit of his goals. Heck yeah. The Heck yeah. The elemental skill is his preferred means of doing battle. Once in the wind favored state, he attacks from the air. See, this is the thing I should, like, again, I, I think we're getting better at it. Because usually what I do is I hit with Benny, I activate... Yeah. From a range of enhancements, which make him even more powerful in battle. He's just a super powerful character. Yeah, there we go. This is what I do as well. The Wanderer unleashes his elemental burst, dealing several rounds of AOE animo damage in one fell swoop. It's Devastating so good. It's so good. I find it sometimes ends way. battles for me. The world of Tevat has its own rules. They aren't. Perfect, I love that. Though. I love this so much. In some cases, they are as delicate and fragile as the human heart. <laughs> That's why I've been tasked with the job I have now. A job which gives me certain special privileges. I'm someone who likes having the freedom to live their own life. But oh, I don't mind oh we know. It gives me the chance to see this world and everything that lives in yep. it from a lot of different perspectives. It's a lovely trailer. To forget, but they can't undo what they've done, and there's no escaping the past. The Wanderer learned this the hard way. So there we go. Future, there we go. Which way will the wind blow? A lot of people crave the power to predict the future, but I doubt the Wanderer cares for that. With a past like his, he knows the only way is forward. True! Alice! Or for worse. Alice, you are... You are a, a, a legend and ten halves. You got it right. He has to look forward. That was such a good trailer. I've never watched them, uh, one of those type of the, was it miscellaneous uh, tra trailers. I never watched them before, and it's not because like I didn't want to watch them. It was literally just because like I've never like, like you know, I, I usually just like learn on the job, <laughs> you know, when I'm doing this type of stuff. But that was really fun, and like also yeah, that's a really important line. We we talked about this last week in a trailer, and you guys rightly corrected me because I was like, oh maybe Alice is like, you know, maybe they, they put it there just by coincidence. But no, you guys, all of you guys, very rightly said, hey, Calvin. Watch the trailer. Some of you guys are like, no, just listen to this and all this stuff. And this is what it is. And yeah, from this perspective, 100%, you're right. Like, it, in Alice saying, like, you know, talking about his history and his past and, like, finding out that he couldn't change his past is something only a select few people would know. Uh, you know, we know about it. Uh, Nahida knows about it. And uh, Paimon, right, knows about it as well. But that's because they were told about it. And that's different from, um, uh, you know, how uh, the Wanderer... Not the Wanderer, sorry. My Wanderer. Tried the Traveler. Wonder knows about it. My character. Uh, yeah, I also just love in these trailers. Like, what's so good about it is like they, they, they. It's like a perfect lesson for a character. So we might watch more of these. Like maybe some characters that I'm like. Actually, we might watch the, if there's a Toma one. Like I definitely like to watch it. But then again, it's not, probably not for everybody. I'd say probably maybe for the. I'll actually check if there's a, a Toma one. Um, I really enjoy the idea as well where uh, Alice was coming from when she said that uh, the Wanderer Arvon only looks forward. And for someone who has a very dark past, someone who has a past that, like, they regret, they clearly caused a lot of suffering, they acknowledge the fact that, like, even if people wanted to come and hurt them, like the likes of Kazuo wanted to come and hurt him, or anyone in that family wanted to come and hurt him, you know, Vaughn, our Vaughn, is like, yeah, like, I would expect it. Um, but there's also, like, this thing where it's like, that's not really looking and trying to predict the future. It's like, whatever happens, happens now. But I'm going to try and make sure that, like, I put the right step forward in front of me. I also love about, you know, Vaughn is that, like, there wasn't this drastic change in terms of, like, how, like, even Alice said in this trailer, like, now it's, like, the case is, yes, he's, he can be vicious, he can be prickly, he's like a cat, if you come near him and hurt him, he's gonna hurt you back, and that's the way you look at it, and I love that Alice said that, because that's so true, that's the energy I get from the current Vaughn that's going through the world now, our blue Vaughn, our, um, half, uh, you know, half like no i guess like still has like tendencies from like when they were the balladeer you're not going to get rid of them all altogether you know that vicious streak that we love and also at the same time we have the uh the fruit stand vaughn mixed in with there as well and like a middle point where it's trying to like i guess um bring those two together to make themselves kind of effective uh in, in a way that doesn't hurt innocent people or anything like that i love the way this was described i love the way that they um had so much respect for the character and also just the gameplay as well showing off the characters and how well they moved and how you could do their different types of moves. Um, I now, like, you know, for me, it's like, sometimes, like, you guys know, I'm not, like, the most, like, with it Genshin player when it comes to moves and how to use moves together. 
See, what I do is I will start off with Benny using his buff and, and use the fire attack as well to add some fire uh, when I can. Then I'll use like, the shields. I'll use Farzan's uh, skill then. And, or her burst, sorry, her burst then. And then I will then fly into the air with Vaughn and start shooting at them with the little uh, 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 blades and like air blades and things like this. And it, like it's so freaking cool because obviously that boosts the crit rate and boosts the animal damage at the same time. Um, and also interacts with ice as well and gives him a shield so he's not interrupted and also like some healing from uh, Benny if needs be as well. I actually really like that team and I, uh, that team was actually suggested to me out there. Uh, so thank you very much. Yeah, no, I, I thought this trailer was fantastic and like it's, it's just really fun. Like Genshin has the most fun trailers. They have these trailers that yes, sometimes can be heartbreaking, but sometimes it's just like, hey, let's enjoy this world together. Let's enjoy it. That was cool. That was really cool.